What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RPG series and the quest system. So in this episode, we will be tweaking some things, improving some things, and continuing overall, and being able to activate a quest. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into the equipment system and let's open up our widget. So it will be equipment system, not it will be the quest system, sorry. <laughs> um, and then it will be the quest giver widget. So open this up. There we go. And basically, let's add another text over here, which will be a secondary, which we got a left from the last episode. So on this panel, that's the description, duplicate it, put it down over here. And let's put, uh, we'll use secondary or not, secondary. And basically we'll change this text to be main or secondary, depending on that Boolean. So uh, let's go here and change it to be with a different name. So I'll be like secondary. And then make sure it's variable is ticked. Let's go back to the graph. And then on here, let's get the secondary uh, Boolean. When we select the quest, you may remember. And let's do a select node, okay? And let's gonna do select, uh, where is it, where is it? Well, actually, yes, yeah, select string, there we go. So, if it's A, it will be one, and if it's B, it will be another one, okay? So in this case, A will be true. So that will be secondary, so let's put it in all caps, and B will be um, false, which will be main. So let's go ahead and just drag in our new uh, selected quest secondary, just drag it in, get it, and then set text, Let's use this other function and let's just go ahead and just plug it in. There we go. And so that's it. So I can just compile and save and this should work. So right now, all the quests should be main. So let's change that to be uh, some of them secondary. So let me go into the quest giver blueprint and let me just go into the quest variable and let's do, for example, the third one to be secondary and also the uh, this one so basically i just added a bit, a bit more of a quest okay from the last episode so i basically use uh off camera so just literally just press this button like four times <laughs> and use the you know fill in some uh names and a description okay that's it didn't do anything more okay as you know i do everything on camera step by step uh so now i can just press play and now i can just go into my quest giver here now you'll see that if i select a um an object, well, not to know a quest. You can see that now it will say main on here, it will say main on here, secondary because we changed to be secondary in here, secondary, and then here, main, depending on what we say. So that's great, that's working. And of course, we can go back into here, quest giver the UI and change a bit the this to be maybe even uh, you know, smaller. We can put it down here, yeah. You can play around with the UI. I'm gonna keep it simple, but it's like 10, for example, you know, maybe make it a bit darker so it's not like a primary text you know what i mean it's like, like an extra thing you know you can play around with that another thing i going to do is uh at the start disable the canvas panel because we will not have any um uh, quest selected so just having this you know with the default text is a bit unnecessary so i'm gonna select also this canvas panel and change the name to be the quest quest details panel and let's go and make sure this is a variable. Let's go to the graph and let's get the quest details panel. And basically when we select a quest, we'll just go here and set the visibility in this widget function to be visible, okay? But I'm gonna do it that um, at the start. So on the event construct, it will paste this, so I copy and paste this. And this will now be hidden. So we can now see it when we just open the inventory and um, open the inventory now sorry <laughs> open the quest giver menu and then have a, a thing selected so now i open it there's nothing here but as soon as i select a uh, quest now it appears over here as you can see maybe i did the secondary text very very small but you get the idea so let's make it bigger maybe thin and yeah you can go ahead and carry on with that so now let's go ahead and actually assign and activate a quest which the player will have so in this case we have the select quest button of course this one is different from the other select quest which is the individual slots okay this is a total uh, different button so let's select this go down and let's select the on clicked so that's when we select a quest that we want to start 
tracking and activate. It makes sense. So in this case, we are going to have a, another variable, which will be the uh, selected quest. Okay. And this will be just the one that we are right now previewing. Okay. So when you click in here, so you see the details, that's the one that we are selecting right now. So we're going to have a reference to that. So when we click the button, we know which one we selected. It makes sense. So we're going to change, uh, where I create the, did I create a new variable? Okay, let's create a new variable and let's name this. Um, oh, sorry, I, I, I did <laughs> select the quest. Sorry. So this, of course, is not going to be Boolean. This is going to be S underscore quest, which we created in the first episode of the quest system. So with that, we can now just um, uh, use the select quest. So at the uh, at the end, I can just set it to be uh, this one. And right now, of course, we are now receiving the part we're just receiving individual stuff so i'm gonna change that so it also receives and add a an input the whole thing so the quest itself and i'm gonna change this to be on s slots that's class slots s quest there we go and now can you get this and drag it here let me double click to put there like so and then here like this great now here we could also just get the quest and do a break and from here access like pretty much what we're passing here but i just prefer to manually pass this so i have a bit more control but up to you um so in here we are setting up the select quest of course let's go back into the um, slot so we can get that so let's go into the slot into the graph and now we will need to pass in that specific um quest over here okay the the structure uh that we had okay so right now we are having things as the quest name description so on but let's also have the quest as a whole and this will be s underscore quest okay and this will be passed over here and now we need to go back into the quest giver and then here uh we already uh yeah we're already passing the quest because it's adding here so yeah sorry so let's go back into the quest giver and now from here this quest will be from here so select this sorry so when we now create this slot we'll just set a new variable there you go set quest which is the overall one and now i can just pass this here and i can just pass on this okay so now we are going to get the whole quest and set it as the current one that we are selecting and then from here when we click a new thing we can start to activate that one over there okay Okay, so we're gonna change this uh, button text, select quest button, and to, to be like already selected. So let's select this and let's check a select quest button text, let's say, okay? Let's make this a variable and let's get this, drag it, get it, set the text, and here let's set this to be quest uh, active or something like that, okay? Great, so now we will say that the quest is active. So now if I just press play, I can just go, select a mission, say select, and now quest active, okay? It's a you know tiny feedback over there. But we are actually gonna pretty much remove the whole widget. So I'm gonna go into the quest giver uh, widget, and I'm gonna have a new variable, which will be the um, quest, quest giver blueprint, okay? And this will be assigned when the quest giver creates a thing. So in here, I can just get the quest uh, widget. No, there you go, quest widget. And then set, and that will be also before doing the loop. So it will not be done many times too. And then I can just say set a BP, which is set quest giver BP. In this case, that will be to this. Which in this case, I also have to assign this to be the quest giver what is it what is it bb quest giver there we go object reference and now i can pass this as self so now the widget will have a reference to this blueprint so now in here where i i can close quest let's go back to the ui in here where that's done i can make a simple delay and then i can just get the blueprint and say the thing of uh, to close it which in this case will be uh, right now event interact so I'm gonna do just 
a custom event and use close widget, okay? So I can just call this from the UI. So this will be here. And now in here I can just close and uh, say close widget. And that will now do so. So now I can go here, open this, select a, a, a quest submission, or you want to call it, select the quest, quest active will close. And I'm now, you know, having that. So now let's go into the player and watch in the blueprints and create a new blueprint. Uh, what is the a new blueprint class? Sorry. And then actor component, a B P C. So actor, uh, sorry, B B C. So the blueprint component, and this will be the quest. Uh, we can say quest. That's that's good. That will work. <laughs> so now let's open this, and we'll have a new variable which will be active uh, quest, and that will be type of s underscore quest. So now the UI will send this to here. In this case, we could do it with the code scriber or whatever, but UI will just work. So what I could do is just now before I close the widget, of course, right during this delay. Um, for that, I can just go ahead and cast to the third person character from the get player character. And then what we can do is just go and get the component. Of course, we haven't added it yet, so I need to go into the third person character blueprint on here and add that component, which in this case be PC underscore quest. And now we'll be there. And you can see that we have active quest and we have that information there. It's empty, but it works. <laughs> and now in the uh, widget again, I can just get that component, which is the quest, and then set the active quest, which is here. And that active quest will, of course, be our selected quest. So now our player will also have the information of our active quest. And then to finalize that, I can just apply into the UI. So let's go into the uh, here and just create a new user interface. It's a widget that will be underscore and this will be um, quest, in quest HUD. Okay, so we know that's from the kind of the player screen. Let's go and add a canvas. I'm gonna make it very simple. Just add an image here in the border. Okay, I don't know if we have things there. Don't think so, right? No, it's empty. So we're gonna put it here. Uh, the yes, this will be here. We can change the tint to be darker. Put the alpha 2.3, and then just uh, name this the background and then get some blur and I'm gonna basically display the um, basically the UI here right um, I don't know if I can put this no I cannot all right so let me copy stuff so the position is 44 and then the size will be this one for X and then this one for Y I'm doing this so it's exactly the same and then I can apply some blurs for example 10 and now we have the background blur and so on. I can just apply a text here. Um, there we go. And this will be the current quest. So I'm gonna put it over here like this. And I can just put active quest for now. I know how to type. There we go, active quest. And then I can just put active quest text and then say it's variable. So we'll know we have to, you know, change this text over here and now I can just go into the um, BPC quest and the big gameplay I just say create widget in this case it will be the quest HUD and then we're gonna uh, right click here and promote this to a variable so it will be the quest HUD widget and then we can just add it into the screen so add it into the viewport and now what we can do is just create a new custom event um, which will be set text set active quest text and then I can just get that quest hot widget just get the text which is the active quest test and they say set text a lot of text but is is what it is and we can just get the active quest that we have right now break it and get the name and just plug it there in the future, we might add also uh, some targets, okay, in the HUD. So, you know, capture whatever, you know, explore this. Uh, for now, we're gonna keep it simple like this, just with the name. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, of course, we have to call 
the where is it, where is it? the the set quest um text when we do you know apply a new mission or whatever so uh, let's go back here and now can you say set uh, text just the set active quest text when we of course when the widget do all this so now you will see that when I press play right now it's appearing okay we can make it that it start it will not appear but basically I can just go get a quest select it now you see that it will appear with the name so in this case right now it's Kiki <laughs> and then I can just go for example say uh, Olympus right select quest quest active now we'll say Olympus you can see that it will activate depending on what quest we have right now of course the component will also have all the other details as uh, the description if it's secondary if it's completed and so on so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate you click the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so check them out remember that your product files will be available in patreon and members so check it out and join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye